This video will cover what ports the RLM license server will bind to and use during operation. The first port is the RLM server port. By default, this runs on port 5053, though we will go over how to change this port for your server. The RLM server acts as a handler process to listen for client devices making license queries, such as a license checkout. The RLM server will then pass the license queries to the ISV license servers. These are specific to the individual software providers and enforce their company's licenses. Note that different ISVs may specify different ports for the RLM server to listen to, so this process may bind to multiple server ports at once to listen for license queries on each one. The next port is the Web Administration port. Note that the Web Administration functionality is optional and can be disabled when launching RLM or when running it as a service. By default, the web interface is on port 5054, though this can be customized. Unlike the RLM server, the web interface can only run on a single port. That said, you are still able to customize which port this interface binds to. Finally, there are the ISV server ports. Note that we use the term ISV when referring to a software provider. The RLM process will bind to one port for each ISV server. Unlike the RLM server, an ISV server can only bind to a single port. By default, the ISV server port is a random port that is not already in use, but you or your ISV can optionally specify a static port. There are two locations to customize the RLM server ports. The RLM server and the ISV server ports can be customized in your license file. The web interface port is customized when RLM is started. The license file. To customize the RLM port, you will need to specify a port number on the host line of your license file. To customize the ISV port, you will need to modify the ISV line. For both servers, if there is already a port number listed in the license file, you can modify it. If there is not one already present, you can add one. Note the position of the port number is specific. There is a link in the description to our documentation for the full formatting specifics. Modifying RLM Startup to customize the RLM web interface port, you will need to modify how you start RLM. This is the same for if you're running RLM manually or if you're running RLM as a service. You will want to add the argument dash WS space the port number you wish to bind to. In this example, we want to bind the web interface to port 6054. Note that most operating systems require administrator or root permissions for any process to bind to a port below 1024. This concludes this video on the RLM server ports. For additional information, please view our knowledge base or our documentation. Links are in the video description.